Hi, I'm Skylar, and today I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks with the iPod camera. First of all, you can access your camera really, really easily just by pressing the home button and by sliding this button up on the right to kind of like a curtain to reveal the camera. Once you've done that, I'm going to pick it up and we're going to take some pictures of these awesome sunglasses. All right, the basics. It focuses automatically, but if I tap anywhere on the image, it'll focus on that section of the image. And it also exposes for that section of the image. So you can see if I tap in a dark place, it gets a little bit brighter. And if I tap in a bright place, it gets a little bit darker. So let's say that I want to lock the exposure. Put my finger down, and then the box pulses twice, and I see AE lock at the bottom of the screen. Now that means that wherever I move the camera, the exposure stays the same. It stays equally bright. And in order to get that to stop, I just tap once and it unlocks it. And now it's back to auto exposure and auto focus. If I want to turn on a grid so that I can more easily compose my images, tap options and turn grid to on. And then we see an overlay. Now, the reason that they included this feature is because there's something called the rule of thirds. Simply put, if you place the object that you're photographing on one of these intersections of grid lines, it'll make the photograph a lot better. You'll see an immediate improvement in your pictures. So you can turn that off for now. To record video with an iPod Touch, there's a little switch at the bottom here. And if I flip that, now we're in video. An iPod Touch shoots 720p video, which is actually an aspect ratio of 16 by 9. But displayed here is only an aspect ratio of 4 by 3. 16 by 9 is what most TV shows are. In order to see the full frame that's being recorded, what I want to do is tap twice on the image. And now we see letterboxes. So now we're seeing the whole frame of what we're actually recording. So if you're going to make a movie in iMovie or in any other video editing software, you want to make sure to double tap so that you see exactly what you're filming. I'm going to switch back to still. There's another feature too. Right here, this button allows me to switch the camera around. So if I want to make a self-portrait, I flip that around and I can see myself. That's pretty much it. Those are your iPhone tips and tricks. One last thing I'll show you is how to take a picture. You tap the shutter button. Another thing you can do is use the volume up button right here. So if I want to use it more like a regular camera, I can click the volume up button and take a picture that way. My camera roll, where the pictures are actually stored, is accessed right here. So I tap that, and it brings me to the most recent picture, and then I can start to swipe through them like this. And from here, I can go back to the camera roll or back to the camera by pressing the blue button. I'm Skylar. And those were some tips and tricks with your iPod camera.